Okay, so I'm going to take up um, the magnification questions. Let me see if I can get to this. Yes. All right. So let's start with number one. Um, these are the textbook so I can read through the problems. Um, so I gave you, okay. A concave mirror produces an image on a wall that is 30.0 centimeters high from an object that is 6.5 centimeters high. What is the magnification of the mirror? Okay, so we're looking at height for this one, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, um, you always start by writing out the knowns, right? So our height of our image, height of image is 30 centimeters, okay? Sorry. Um, and then our height of object is 6.5 centimeters. We are using um, magnification equals high over ho. Um, then um, we're going to fill it in. So we're going to fill it in. So magnification equals. Um, now, if you don't. Um, with these questions, I'm, I'm just trying to decide how to go about this. A lot of the teachers teach it without any of the negatives in there. Um, and they just have them straight up use magnification equals high over ho and magnification equals die over do instead of the magnification equals negative die over do. Um, because the negatives can get too complicated. So just going to tell you now, and I'm going to tell you in our meeting this morning, um, I'm not going to mark for the negatives. I'm just going to mark to see if you do the math right. There's no adding and subtracting in these equations, so there's no that having the negative doesn't interfere with your answer. But in this case, because this question here is talking about uh, produces an image on a wall, right? So the wall would act as a screen, which means that this image is real, which means that this image is inverted because the real images are inverted. So in that case, when you go to put height in, you have to put it in as a negative. If you didn't put it in as a negative, that's okay. Because I didn't tell you to do that yesterday when I went over this. But while I'm taking it up, I'm just going to keep kind of reinforcing the real way to do it. But I'm not going to mark for the negatives. Because it is a lot to take on right now, especially over a computer at home. Um, so because the image would be inverted. I'm just going to draw this up here, right? So I always act like a math graph, right? So this is our mirror and our image is down here, well, these are the negatives, right? So that's why that image would be, um, that inverted image is negative. So we put that in as a negative over our 6.5 centimeters, and then we go and we calculate it, and it ends up being around like 4.6 centimeters. Magnification is a negative, okay? Magnification is a negative, when the image is inverted. So that is also something that is true. So then this is correct. But have no fear. If you didn't get the negative, I'm not marking for it. Just for the math. So you got the 4.6. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go, go into the next one now. Okay. So you got that. Perfect. Next one we did is an object is placed 75 centimeters from a concave mirror. A real image is produced 50 centimeters away. What is the magnification? All right. So our object is placed 75 centimeters. So our dough is 75 centimeters. Okay. Our die um, is 50 centimeters. Okay. And it does talk about a real image, right? So we know that it's going to be inverted, um, which we doesn't affect the distance of the object or the distance of the image, okay? Because those are both on the positive side, the distances. So we leave them as positive, okay? So magnification was negative die over do. Magnification is negative um, 75 over 50. Magnification equals negative 0 0.667, okay, which is correct, okay. If you did the math right, that's what I'd be marking, but it is negative because the image is inverted and magnification is negative for inverted images, okay. 
All right, so let's keep going on. So hopefully you're kind of putting it together. If you don't end up getting the negatives, don't fret. It's okay. Um, I'm marking for the math. Um, number three. Um, um, did we do that one? I don't think we did that one. Okay, I'm going to just go right to what the one I think is number three. A camera creates a real image of a tree 40 meters away. The image is formed. Thank you, honey. Okay. Sorry. The image is formed three centimeters behind the lens. Find the magnification. Okay. Um, so for this one, we have the image, the camera creates a real image of a tree 40 meters away. Um, so it's saying that the tree is 40 meters away and the image is formed three centimeters behind the mirror. So, um, or behind the lens. So doe is 40 meters. That one was worded funny. Um, could kind of throw you off three centimeters. Okay. So this is going to be our, um, magnification so it's the distance the real images so they both stay positive because um remember if we were to look at that grid our object we know is going to be like around here and our image is going to be around here but this is still the positive side right so this is the upright this is the inverted image but it's still the positive side of the distances right that's that math grid right um M equals negative die over dough. So this would have to be two-stepper, right? Because you'd have to make sure that you change, um, make the conversion. So it's going to be um, negative three, we're going to keep it in centimeters, over our 4,000 centimeters. Remember the centimeters come off because magnification doesn't have a units. And then it ends up being negative 0 0.000, I think that's right, 75. I think there's three zeros in there. Let me just do the math on an actual calculator to make sure that that's, I think that's right. There's that many zeros. Yep, three. Okay, we're good. All right. And that is that one. Okay. And we're going to keep going here. Next question I have, which I think is the same as you. Um, so we're doing height ones now, okay? And I didn't mention this yesterday, but height can also be considered a negative, okay? Height is negative when it's the inverted um, image, okay? So distance uh, can be positive and negative, but height can also be negative. So we're gonna look at number four. Um, a slide projector has a magnification of 50, All right? So magnification equals 50. Um, how wide will the projected image be? All right, so it looks like we're looking at height image. If the slide is, so actual object is 2.8 centimeters wide, okay? So we're gonna use our magnification equals high over whole. Magnification is 50, I is what we're looking for, and then 2.8 centimeters is our hole. Okay, so we need to isolate for high, we need to get the 2.8 centimeters out of there. So we are, remember opposite operations. So since it's division, we have to times it by 2.8 centimeters to get them out. But whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we end up doing it to the other side. All right, and then that's how you get your answer. And answer is um, 140. It should be 140. 140 centimeters. Okay, done. All right, let's go to the next one. More than halfway through here. Okay, so number five, a concave mirror creates a virtual image of a candle flame that is 10 centimeters high. Um, if the magnification of the mirror is 12.5, what is the height of the candle flame? Okay, um, so we have magnification 
is if magnification of the mirror is 12.5. So 12.5. And then <coughs> height of image is 10 centimeters. And then we are looking for height of object. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start by filling it in. Um, oh, wait. Sorry. I even just started that without proper properness. <laughs> there. Okay. So, oh, hang on. I'll do that. So, magnification goes high over hole. We fill it in. Now we have to isolate for hole. So, how that one works is um, it can be a two, this can be a two stepper um, rearrange of the equation. So it's on the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to times it by ho to get rid of those both on that side. But what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So then it ends up being ho times 12.5 equals 10. But now we have the 12.5 over there. It's multiplying. So we have to do opposite operation, right? So we have to divide it to get it out of that side. But whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other, right? So our equation ends up looking like this. And I hope you guys were able to rearrange the equation because that's just as, as important as doing all the math, okay? It is skill to be able to do this. So ho ends up equaling, um, I'm gonna have to use calculator for this one. I can't do this one in my head. Uh, kind of, point seven point eight. Yeah, um, ten divided by twelve point five. Ah, I was right. Point eight. Okay. Um, zero point eight centimeters. Okay. Uh, because uh, we're not dealing with distance, there's no negatives for this one. Yes, it is a virtual image. So our distance, if we were to use distance for this one, it would have been a negative. But because it's upright, um, the object's upright and the uh, image is upright, they're both positive. And that since it's not an inverted image, the magnification is also positive. Hopefully you're following along with that. I really hope that that is making sense. Um, next question. We're almost through them all, okay? So next one is, that was the concave mirror one. We are now on to an insect. It's magnified 12 times. Magnification A equals 12 um, by a concave mirror. If the image is real, inverted, and six centimeters from the mirror, how far will away is the insect? So the image is real. Okay, wait. It, um, it was real, inverted, and six centimeters away. So we're doing distance of, is this a, yeah, distance. And this is the image is six centimeters, right? The image is six centimeters from the mirror. How far away is the insect? Yeah, so we're looking at object. We don't know where the object is. Okay, so we're dealing with a real image. So our magnification is negative, okay? Um, the distance of the image is going to be positive because it is a real image, which means that the distance is going to stay on the same side. All right. And then the distance of our object is going to be positive, which makes sense because we have our negative die over dough. So we have one negative, but we're going to put magnification in as a negative. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, which means that those two negatives are going to end up canceling each other out. So we're going to end up with a positive distance of object, which is exactly what we want. So this is working out beautifully. Um, so let's fill it in. So negative 12, negative 6 over do. <coughs> so now we need to isolate for do. So it's over here. 9 times it out to get it out of there. So what we do to one side, we do to the other. I'm doing this backwards now. All right, and now we want to get dough by its side, so we need to divide this out to get it to the other side. Oh, there's my, oh, and you're not even following me anymore. Dough equals negative six over negative 12. So our distance of our object is going to be, I don't even have to calculate it, be 0. 0.5 centimeters. Hmm. Is that what? Everyone else got. Um, yep. 
that's right. Okay. Good. Oh, sorry. I didn't show the answer. Answer. 0.5 centimeters. Okie dokie. Let's keep going here. We got two left. Okay. Um, a lens produces a real image. Real, which means it's going to be inverted. Okay. That is 23 times bigger than the object. So that tells us that the magnification is 23 times. Okay. Um, if the object is four centimeters away, so we're looking at distance. So distance of object is 14 centimeters. How far away is the image? So di is what we're looking for. Okay. So we're using negative di over do. Same thing. Um, magnification is going to be 23 because of it is an inverted image. And magnification is negative when it's inverted. Um, so we're going to start with our equation, uh, and we're going to plug everything in. So um, negative die over 14, okay? Isolate here. We need to times it by 14, cross those off. What do we do to one side? What do we do to the other? And... Um, so now we're going to times the number 20, negative 23 times um, 14, um, 322. Hang on, let me just do it on my math. 322, I think. Um, yeah, it was right, 322. Okay, uh, so it's negative 322 equals negative die. How do you get rid of the die? I mean, not the die. How do you get rid of the negative? Well, you divide both sides by negative 1. It gets rid of the negatives, and die ends up equaling 322. Sorry, all the way to squished at the bottom. Die equals 322. Perfection. Okay, last question. Um, last question is, a human hair is placed 3 millimeters from a powerful microscope lens that has a magnification of 40 times. So microscope magnification, sorry, let's get back up here, is... 40 times, okay? Um, how far from the lens will the image be formed? So, it's placed three millimeters from. So, our distance of our object is three millimeters. Um, how far from the lens will the image be formed? Okay, and then we have our distance of our image, okay? Um, Okay, so because it's not telling us um, if it's the real or inverted, I'm going to assume that it is real distance of image. Oh, actually, we don't have to worry about that. It will tell us when we do the calculation. We put the, it is, um, Okay, you know what? We'll put the magnification in as negative. It doesn't say if it's inverted or not. Um, mm, no, this is uh, it's a different. You don't have to put it in. Um, so it's going to be 40 with negative. Oh, sorry. I'm getting all confused now. Okay. Magnification equals negative die over do. Okay. Magnification is 40. Doesn't tell us that the image is inverted, so we're leaving that magnification as positive. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I'm not messing you guys up here. So it doesn't say it's inverted, it's real image. It doesn't say that. So we're leaving it as 40, okay? Um, then we're going to go negative die over 3 millimeters. Um, and then we are going to... Isolate for negative die. So we do times this out, okay, which takes it away, brings it to the other side. So our negative die is going to be 40 times 3, which is just 120 um, millimeters. Make sure you always include the units with this one. Sorry, I've lost you again. Equals negative die. Um, we're going to ice, we're going to divide it by negative 1 to get the negative out on that side. So our answer ends up being, um, I'll just do it to the side here, die equals negative 120 
millimeters, which means that the distance is, um, it's a virtual image. And then it says, how far will the lens be? Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I'm going to say that it was, it's okay. I'll make sure that we use better worded ones. I think because it's formed, the image is formed, but they're all, yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. We're going to leave it like that. We'll just pretend that it was a virtual one. It doesn't matter. It could have been virtual. It could have been real. If it was real, we would have put the magnification in as a negative because it would have been an inverted image. Um, but it's a microscope. So I'm, I'm, we're going to say that it's, it's, um, it's a virtual, it's a virtual image. So it would be upright and on the other side. So we're going to leave it like that. Let's just leave it like that and make the decision. Okay. That's all the questions. Um, and yeah, we are done with this one.